Hey everyone, this is Tim from AndroidPCReview.com. Today we're going to look at how to install XBMC if your Android steering box doesn't already have it. XBMC isn't in the Google Play Store, so it's not going to install like most of the other apps you have on your mini PC. What you're going to have to do is download it directly from XBMC.org and then install it manually. This does require a modification to the device's security settings, so we're going to go ahead and do that first. To do that, go to the settings screen and then to the security tab. On the right hand side, you'll see a box that says unknown sources allow installation of apps from unknown sources. That box needs to be checked. When you check this, you're going to get a pop-up box saying your device and personal data are more vulnerable to attack. You agree that you're solely responsible if your device melts down and sets the house on fire. No, but seriously. I recommend that as soon as XBMC is installed, go back to this tab and remove that checkbox. This is one of those settings you're only going to want to enable when you have to, and make sure that you know what you're installing software from, just to be safe. The next step is to download XBMC. So go to xbmc.org slash download, and you'll see all the operating systems that XBMC runs on. You've got Windows, Linux, Mac, and two download choices for Android, whether you have an x86 processor or an ARM processor, so be sure to download the correct version. Since we're running an ARM CPU, I'll go ahead and download that one. And this is going to take a minute to download, so I'm going to pause the video and come back. Once it's finished downloading, you're going to get a little pop-up window similar to this one. That'll let you just click on it and install from here. And it's going to give you the option to choose the Google installer or the package installer. For this app, we want to choose the package installer. After that, it's going to run through the permissions so it let you know what it needs to do. And then it sets off to install XBMC. Now, depending on your system, that can take a few seconds to a few minutes. Since this is an older device, it's going to be a little bit longer install for us. So I'm going to pause the video and come back again. Once that's done, click open and XPMC is going to start. First time you run it, this process is going to take a few minutes to set everything up for that individual device. This is an older stick PC, like I mentioned, so it took about three minutes on this screen alone. The scroll bar tends to move really quickly and then we'll just kind of hang at the end. Once that's done, the splash screen comes up followed by the main XBMC menu. And that's all there is to it. From here, you can set up your media library, pick a video, and start watching. Check out our detailed article on AndroidPCReview.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe.